Hello, I'm Loriana from the Inter Hominis Empowerment Center for Traumatized Refugees in Berlin. In a previous video, I introduced you to our therapeutic concept, the therapeutic scales. You can find the link to it in the description text below. Today, I would like to introduce you to a basic physical exercise that we have developed over the last five years in the psychosocial work with our refugee clients and on which we build our therapies and consultations. It is not only suitable for stressed and traumatized refugees, however, but also for all other people who want to reduce stress and tension. We call it empowerment dancing, and it is a complex anti-stress exercise. You will hear my voice accompanying the physical exercise while our colleague demonstrates it. During our therapies and consultations, we have observed that prior traumatic, as well as current stress, is held in multiple levels within us. Namely, the physical, the emotional, and the spiritual levels. These stressors have a tendency to rise up from the bottom. You can imagine a trauma in a simplified way, as stressful memories of powerlessness which have clenched into a red-hot fist inside of you. In an upcoming video, we will go into this in greater detail and show you exactly how this happens and what you can do about it. For today, it should suffice if you imagine that the heat emanating from the glowing fists rises from the bottom to the top of your head. Another helpful metaphor is that of a house that heats up more and more in the summer with the temperature rising from the cellar to the attic. This often causes severe headaches, dizziness, concentration problems, and negative thoughts. In empowerment dancing, we therefore do exactly the opposite. We massage, knock, and shake the troublesome stress out of our bodies and then cool it down and discharge it into the ground from top to bottom. This way, we have less stress in our inner being and have a clear head for positive and confident thoughts. By the way, it is a good idea to do the exercise barefoot since this helps to discharge negative energy into the ground and take up positive energy from the ground. Just a word of caution and safety in advance. Empowerment dancing is for people with normal to moderate health conditions. If you have special physical problems such as back, knee, or heart problems, or if you suffer from special psychological or even psychotic symptoms, please consult a doctor and or a psychiatrist before doing this exercise. Okay, let's now start with the preliminary exercise for empowerment dancing. For this, we put both hands on the upper body the right hand is at the level of the heart so that the fingers point directly at the heart. The left hand is at the stomach level. This posture is our basic position to which we will always return, and we call it the sun heart posture. This expression comes from the fact that the left hand resting at the level of the stomach is on the solar plexus. Since ancient times, there has been the idea that there is an inner sun in this area and we hold it with our left hand. And with our right hand, we hold our heart, the seat of our feelings, hence the sun heart name. To begin, we imagine inside our bodies a beautiful summer sunny day with a bright blue sky, which we embrace in our two hands. In contrast, we imagine outside of us during the whole exercise a pleasantly cooling summer rain, which washes away all the hot stress inside us from top to bottom and down into the earth. We can meditatively reinforce this image by thinking the word in with each inhalation and the word out with each exhalation. So always in, and out, and in, and out. In this way, we synchronize 
body, soul, and spirit, and bring them into harmony with each other. If our thoughts drift away, which they will tend to do, we should try not to bring them to a standstill, but rather always lead them back to the breath in a gentle and friendly way. After a short while, we start to sway back and forth as if we're holding a baby, but that baby is us. In technical terms, this is called working with the inner child, which we do here in a body-oriented way. You can also accompany this by speaking aloud to yourself, perhaps saying, well, how are you today, my inner child? Today, I would like to really love you and be there for you for a while. Or, look, what a beautiful day we can spend together. This part of the exercise is simple in terms of movement, but fairly deep in other ways. And we have found that it's not uncommon for clients to almost cry. After two or three minutes, we then release the arms and let them dangle around the body with a slight turning movement. This part of the exercise comes from Chinese Tai Chi, and it is designed to gently stimulate the healing power in our spine, or the celestial column, as it is called in Chinese. This concludes the preliminary exercise. And now we come to the first main exercise part by focusing on the head. As already mentioned, many people who have suffered trauma or other severe stress suffer from strong migraine-like headaches because the stress tends to rise up in the body from below and cause tension headaches there. We can now massage this tension into the fingers in our imagination just as if we were washing our hair in the cooling summer rain. The massage movement should be calm, yet strong. The external pressure should be similar to the internal pressure, and the tension felt in the head. You can even use your fingernails and claw a little into the scalp so that the pain generated from the outside corresponds to the inner pain. But don't exaggerate. After all, you shouldn't hurt yourself during this exercise but take good care of yourself. Make sure the movement goes from top to bottom, starting at the crown, spanning the whole head, and going down to the neck. Include the eyes, ears, and the entire face. Next, shake the stress into the ground as if you were shaking off drops of rain. Accompany this dripping movement with an audible exhaling sound, which intensifies the effect. Imagine that the ground absorbs the stress, tension, and pain, like rainwater seeping into it. If you have particularly severe headaches due to traumatic stress, you can repeat this first main part of the exercise again. Then, we return to the swaying sun-heart posture in order to reassure ourselves again and again about our body center and to calm our inner child. Next, we come to the second part of the main exercise, which focuses on the upper body. Here we begin to massage the left arm from top to bottom with the right hand. Tap it and wipe it off. Then we do the same with the right arm. Then we tap the front side of the upper body with the edge of the hand and the palm of the hand from top to bottom, rubbing the entire tension into the floor. Then we do the same with the back.
And finally, shake all the stress off. This brings us to the main part of the whole exercise, namely dancing. That is why we call it empowerment dancing. In other words, dancing for self-empowerment and self-care. Dancing is one of the best things we can do for our bodies, our souls and our spirits at the same time. First of all, dancing lifts the spirits. Have you ever seen somebody dancing who was in a bad mood? Moreover, dancing makes you loose, agile, creative, strong, and above all, it effectively reduces stress. There's also scientific studies proving that dancing counteracts the aging process and age-related illnesses. So just dance the way you enjoy it without thinking about anything special. You can dance with or without music, with or without headphones, with a partner, children, or without, as you like, but make it a regular habit. Your dance movements should be as relaxed, flowing, and smooth as possible. In this way, tension and blockages in your body will be released and you can literally dance stress off from top to bottom into the ground. Dancing should take up most of the time during this entire exercise. Traumatic complaints are often accompanied by agonizing aggression. Therefore, it is helpful to include sequences of martial arts in empowerment dancing. Shadow boxing, in other words, pretending to fight against oneself in the air, is particularly well suited for this. You can also actually fight against your shadow on a wall. The exercise then becomes the physical implementation of the psychology of shadow, according to Carl Jung and Eric Neumann. The psychological shadow stands in for all parts of your personality that you dislike and reject about yourself, including certain aggressions. At the same time, it is important not to project your shadow onto other people and to act it out on them, but rather to integrate it. And you can do this on a physical level by literally fighting against your own shadow. A very suitable method to practice shadow boxing is Kung Fu boxing. Almost everybody knows Bruce Lee, the famous Kung Fu fighter. One of his most famous phrases is, I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. A principle of life which can be well applied to empowerment dancing. Bruce Lee's career began with Wing Chun Kung Fu, which according to legend was invented by a woman who was a Buddhist nun. The idea of Wing Chun is not to be hard and strong and tense, but soft and flexible and flowing like water, which adapts itself to each form until it finally reaches its destination. The main techniques of Wing Chun are so-called chain punches, which one can easily practice by oneself. In the video description, you will find a YouTube link to it. If you have practiced this for a while in the air or against your shadow on the wall, you will get tired and the aggression will subside by itself. If you want, you can also add in some kicking movements. If you feel very upset because of a certain person, you can imagine slapping them and at the same time, make a physical exercise out of it to do something good for yourself. The idea is not to become aggressive in reality, but to get rid of your anger and resentment through the imagination. A third anti-aggression exercise we call the Zeus technique. 
The ancient Greeks believed that during a thunderstorm, the main god Zeus was angry and threw lightning from the clouds towards the earth. Similarly, we can imagine that when we are angry and upset, a thunderstorm rages in our heads and we can throw the aggressive energy from above down into the ground, just as Zeus did with the lightning. So the Zeus technique, just like the whole empowerment dancing, works according to the lightning conductor principle. We conduct the traumatic high voltage from the top to the bottom into the earth where it is discharged according to the principle of protective earthing and thus rendered harmless. After the anti-aggression part of this exercise, we return to dancing because empowerment dancing should be an exercise that is fun and joyful and not primarily about negative aspects of life. So we dance again briefly and then complete the second main part of empowerment dancing by returning to the sun heart posture and thinking in and out with every swaying movement. Finally, we come to the third and last part of the exercise, focusing on the legs. Now we massage, tap, and wipe them from top to bottom to release all the stress and tension that is in the legs into the earth. In the end, it is good to briefly put your hands on the ground to thank the earth, as it were, for having absorbed all the stress like rainwater. At the end, we return to the sun heart posture for a last time. Then after a while, we do not sway anymore, but remain in stillness, just like in the beginning. We accompany our breath with the thoughts in and out. Finally, we end the exercise with a gesture of thanks in which we place the palms of our hands together in the front of our chest. What we have shown you today is an ideal typical sequence of empowerment dancing as we have developed it over the last five years at Interhominis. The whole exercise should take more or less 15 minutes and it is best to do in the evening because experience shows that will lead to better sleep. You can also vary and adapt the empowerment dancing to suit your needs. If you don't feel like swaying, just leave it out and stand still. Or if you don't feel like boxing at all, then just skip this part of the exercise. The procedure we have shown you is only a rough guideline, which you should use to develop your own empowerment dance style. You are also welcome to combine empowerment dancing with other forms of movement that you may already know, such as yoga, qigong, calisthenics, stretching, or something similar. You can influence the character of the dance strongly with the music you play. On a quiet day, you can prefer to listen to relaxing music, nature sounds, or none at all. And on a day when you're really annoyed, you may choose loud and rhythmic music. You can develop a sense for this on your own. You can even light a candle to make empowerment dancing more meditative. If you practice empowerment dancing regularly, at least five times a week, you may find that it reduces your stress levels and contributes to your well-being, 
You may even sleep better, be fitter, stronger, more agile, more balanced, and healthier. It is an excellent basic exercise for our psychotherapies and psychosocial health consultations in which the burdens of traumas can be dealt with in greater depth through intense conversation. If you find this necessary for yourself, you should not hesitate to consult a qualified therapist. Finally, I wish you much joy and success with empowerment dancing and hope that it has a positive effect on your health. We would be happy if this video was helpful for you. If you would also watch our upcoming videos where we will show you how to do some additional options for empowerment dancing, like stretching, breath holding, and dance walking. So see you next time.